right, here on a, another beautiful day. I've got to go over to the VA very quickly, so we're going to do a quick video and uh, then go on over and deal with that. And hopefully I can get my video up before then. But uh, what I, one thing I wanted to mention was that uh, here in the U.S., we have a political race of presidency between Trump and Biden. And unfortunately, because Biden is obviously the better choice for the environment, but Biden choices on Israel are completely off the wall because his points are now 11 points lower than they were just a week ago. He's falling like a rock because of his choices on Israel, taking Israel's side to just carpet bomb the hell out of the Gaza. This is going to be detrimental to Joe Biden's race in the uh, presidential race. So obviously, He's not thinking or isn't being told what's going on with the public. He doesn't notice that there are record uh, protests around the world against the carpet bombing of Gaza. That this is just not the way you do it. You don't just go killing mercifully bomb after bomb after bomb continuously on Gaza, killing 3,000 children so far and another 1,000 dead just overnight, making it 9,000 dead so far. That's just ridiculous, and it's not even Hamas it's being killed. It's mostly just innocent Palestinians, which is ridiculous. But unfortunately, I guess that's just the way humans are. They're just going to continuously fight and fight and fight until the last person. I can't imagine what climate change is going to do when the final moments come, when there's little food, little water, and no place to live. And you've got uh, herds and herds and herds, millions of people migrating all over the place, trying to get into better living conditions than they are now. So with that, let's get on with the video. Human fossil fuel emissions are threatening a key climate threshold twice as quickly as previously thought, a new report says. Researchers say the 1.5 C could be breached by 2029 rather than the middle of the 2030s. They say record emissions of CO2 over the past three years are a key factor. Really? After a year of unprecedented heat with the world's hottest month recorded in July, temperatures for 2023 as a whole are close to 1.5 C already. Where are these people living that they didn't notice the high temperatures over the summer? The 1.5 C figure is a key component of the promises made by political leaders when they signed the Paris Climate Agreement in 2015. The 1.5 C figure is seen as a particularly important for developing states and small island nations who fear that going beyond this level of warming would see the oceans rise to swallow their homes. Earlier this year, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, the UN's key advisory body, projected that the world could only emit another 500 billion tons of CO2 and have a 50% chance of keeping warming under the 1.5 C figure. The IPCC projected that the threshold would be crossed primarily by the middle of the next decade. I think they're going to be unfortunately surprised about what uh, what's going to happen next summer. But this new analyst suggests it will be much sooner than that. Now let's look at this chart and I think it pretty much explains it all. What is going on with the climate? And unfortunately a lot of these people that uh, put these studies in motion and study these studies aren't outside during the hot period. They're in their air-conditioned laboratories and uh, facilities doing the study by reading what the reports are saying that are coming in. But they're not actually going outside and experiencing what is actually going on. Now uh, um, I just looked at the latest El Nino uh, report, and unfortunately, things are getting even worse there. We're coming on one of the worst El Ninos ever seen, and uh, we'll see what happens in the next several months because of this. Whether we'll have a super warm winters or super wet winters, flooding, what kind of situation will happen because of this. Now, I uh, have another video on my other site, which I have one page that I'm able to put videos on. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, 
Uh, that's it. They're not, not, each video doesn't have its own page. So you have to go there from the link down below in the description area. Click that and then you can go and look for the next video, which I will put the title to. And uh, you can see my next video over there. Uh, that video will not appear on YouTube. I'm putting some videos over there to keep that viable. So for an emergency situation, in case YouTube starts pulling nonsense again and trying to get rid of my uh, videos, because they're climate change uh, oriented and they can't stand that. They do not want to tell it like it is videos on YouTube. So with that, I appreciate any comments you have on this video in the comments section and the ups and the new subscribers to YouTube, which will make the algorithm work better and we can get more people to watch and see what's going on. I don't make any money on this and uh, it's a lot of work. So the more people that subscribe, the better the algorithm works and the more people will watch what's happening around the world with climate. And until next time.